Hey guys, welcome back to this Just Survive Live Mic gameplay. I'm not sure how many of you guys are experiencing this problem, but um, the bases appear to have disappeared on both servers, that being on test and on live. Now, I've had it happen to me before on the test server, uh, but never on live. The base has always uh, stayed there, and um, as we've always been told, it's, what, five-day buffer, I think it is, before the base would disappear if you've not logged in, and I normally don't go longer than every other day. Uh, we did have a weekend, or a holiday this week, uh, for the 4th of July here in the States, and I may have gone like three days without logging in, but... Um, Certainly no longer than five, and certainly uh, not up to seven days. So I'm not really sure um, what has happened. Now, I do know that it looks like some file changes have been made because I'm going to have to go back and change my read-only or my user I and I back to um, read again so that I can get the current uh, whatever changes have been made. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting all my tools again. Looks like I have just about everything I need now, minus an axe. I would like to get an axe at least, too. Um, so let me go ahead and just put this up. Thankfully, I still have my regular gear, my Green Survivor backpack, which I actually found. I do have a worn letter, but I did find um, a Green Survivor backpack initially, of course, when the servers first came up. But like I said, um, I took a, a few days off from the game and came back, and uh, so I lost both of my bases. So I'm going to have to run around and... Um, so when this happened to me last time, what I ended up doing is I just ended up making a shack. So what I have noticed uh, when I've had these experiences before, I'll go ahead and grab another Hepo too. So when I've had this experience before, what I've done is um, I'll just build a shack. Now shacks aren't really ideal because you can't do a lot of the, you know, obviously you don't do all the building that you would do with um, regular base material. So I prefer to, you know, be able to build a regular base. But if the bases are disappearing, that's going to be an issue. Um, I've, I've looked on Reddit. I'm not seeing like anything that's happened over uh, the 4th of July week or anything this week. And so I couldn't really find anything there. M many of you guys are just kind of just, you know, general conversation. I'm going to grab that fertilizer just in case too. So I haven't really seen like a lot of people saying that their bases have disappeared. Um, I did see that some people in PvP or play on PvP weren't having any issues with bases, but maybe some of the people that um, were posting were in PvE. They didn't distinguish whether they were PvP or PvE either. But um, if you guys are having the same issue, I'd, I'd, I'd certainly like to hear from you either in the Reddit forum where I'll be posting this or in the comments section below. And uh, just in general, you know, here we are. We're three years into the game now. And... Um, you know, yes, I'm still covering it because it's still here and, you know, I feel like you guys deserve at least to know a little bit about what's going on or what you might be experiencing or things that are going on like this particular issue. Um, some of you guys may feel sometimes that your voices aren't heard by the team and whatnot, but um, rest assured they're there. I mean, they do hear us and whatnot. It's between their ability to um, make the corrections and uh, meet our demands and stuff, you know, it's all kind of on different uh, different priority schedules but nonetheless um, I've been really happy for them with their success with H1Z1 Battle Royale the whole series of the H1Z1 uh, line there that they have going on the regular Battle Royale and the Auto Royale so it seems like uh, that was a big hit with um, the PlayStation fans I don't know how much of the how much of the game is considered an eSport I've not really kept up with uh, that portion of the game. Now, this guy who put down these um, punji sticks still has the punji sticks down, which, look at that. I mean, he's got, wow, so much of this area is all punchied up. So I don't know if there's a particular rhyme or reason for it, but uh, certainly is interesting. I don't know if maybe because they're making their bases here inside these cabins or whatnot. I'm basically looking for an axe right now, if I can find one. But just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know, yeah, I'm not abandoning you. <laughs> For those that still follow the game and want to know what's going on. Yeah, I'm still around. It was a holiday, so um, naturally I just took a little bit of a break from, from the game. I have been making some changes to the channel in and of itself. Just to um, just kind of revamp, bring the channel back to where it used to be. 
covering uh, other areas, other topics, although from a, say, like a YouTube standpoint, it's really not ideal, but um, it's just it's just what I do for the channel in and of itself. Also, um, if you guys weren't aware, I am probably anticipating playing um, Battlefield 1. I was really hoping that Battlefield was going to be a, um, a modern game this year. But with the V, I guess, they decided they wanted to go with um, World War II. So here we are with World War II. I haven't purchased the game yet. So um, I wasn't able to participate in the um, Alpha Weekend they had, I guess it was. It's kind of unusual for them to have this early of an Alpha of any kind for the game itself. Normally they you know, do a beta like a week before they release the game and, um, and whatnot and make adjustments as needed there. But I was kind of curious to see that they did allow for an alpha. And I guess in hindsight, being 2020 and all, I would have loved to have participated in that. And uh, maybe, you know, kind of introduce you guys to it. Now I'm debating here, should I get this hatchet? I'm going to hold on to the hatchet for a little while. And just see if I don't get an axe or something here as I go about uh, looking for this. I'm curious how many of you guys are... Um, did you guys play over the weekend uh, during the 4th and notice anything different about the game? Did you experience any issues or any problems? Because um, I tried validating the files on live server to try to correct uh, the typical um, server selection issues that I have. And that is that um, when I go to the server selection screen, I see a bunch of errors. I posted that image uh, for you guys before that showed like... Um, what it looks like when I have those errors messages and so I have to go and um, clean it up I didn't drop that so what's this a worn letter interesting I guess someone just left it here oh maybe maybe a, um, a zombie died in the geography there and uh, left it so yeah so what I'm basically gonna do is when I find an axe and whatnot I'm gonna go ahead and just um, build a uh, Build a shack and see how that turns out. Are you guys building shacks now? What are what have your what have your experiences been with shacks? Have you noticed that those have disappeared? Because um, since I have a base, I don't typically make a shack. So, kind of curious um, if you guys have experienced that happening. And that's gonna wrap it up for this live mic. I want to thank all you guys for your continued participation here on the channel. And if you haven't already, guys, go ahead and click on that watermark appearing on the screen to subscribe. That way you guys will have all the latest out of Daybreak and just survive.